Amiyasan. Konnichiwa. Good day, Andrei-san. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. Come on in. Take a seat. I will be happy to give you some tea. The Geiko are very courteous ladies. And the fact that their courteousness is not free does not prevent you from enjoying it at all. This is because they feel absolutely natural and harmonious in this atmosphere, dressed in a kimono with a wig and makeup. It takes them a half an hour to create this persona. What is it? Is it edible? This is a real piece of art. These are spring delicacies. They are made from sakura leaves and green tea. Emiya-san, is your work hard? Do you feel tired after work? The Giko have to perfect their skills all the time, studying and learning various performance arts. In the evenings, there are guests waiting to be entertained, so there's very little time to rest, and that can be a challenge. How long do you plan to continue working as a Geika? Do Geikos retire? We don't have a retirement age concept. I know a Gieko who is 86 years old. As long as we can demonstrate our skills, we can continue working. Allow me to introduce you to the art of the Kanazawa Gieko are renowned for. I hope that you'll like it and that it will please you. Nowadays, the geisha and the geiko are few in number. In the 1920s, there were over 80,000 geisha. Today, there are only about 1,000. The geisha is probably the most complex character of Japanese culture. Our idea of what is moral, not even the idea of the Europeans, but our own, is conflicted with that of the Japanese. Japanese geisha, who are they? Of course, they are not that type of person. The concept of geisha was introduced in the 17th century. Therefore, their occupation, as you can see, is not the oldest on earth. The word geisha is translated as a person of art. The geisha is a female entertainer, an animator for adults, whose skills include conversing, dancing, singing, and performing a tea ceremony. So here you are, not understanding a word, trying hard to grasp the meaning of the song through the movement and intonation accompanying it. It is all foreign to our eyes and ears, yet you can neither stop watching nor listening to this strange performance. And the only thing you want at this moment is for this song and this dance to last forever. I haven't heard or seen anything more beautiful in my life. This is exquisite. Andre san, please, take a seat here. Hold the sticks. Thank you. First the right hand goes. Now let's play the entire phrase, I'll help you. Now this way. Well, not bad at all for the first time. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Amiya was born in 1972 in Kanazawa. She got a degree in English literature at the local university. She was a jazz singer and founded a cinema of independent movies. She became Geiko when she was in her 30s with the desire to meet interesting people. There is nothing embarrassing about this occupation. Geisha are loved and respected in Japan. They are part of the tradition. Furthermore, the municipality supports them and pays for their classes. Good day. May I come in? Hello, please come in. Thank 
This is Andrei san. He is from Russia. He wants to tell Russians about the life of the Gecko. Good day. Pleased to meet you. Usually one starts learning to be a geisha as a child. However, it is also possible to start the process at a mature age. Amiya started working after only two months of studies. However, the study process continues. The future priestesses of Suave Entertainment learn to play musical instruments, shamisen, a Japanese banjo, drums, to sing, dance, they learn calligraphy, painting, and a lot of other things. The gay Kuf Kanazawa are a fine example of self-discipline and continuous self-improvement. However, aren't all Japanese people this way? What was the song you sang about? It seemed very, very sad. The song is called Seagull in the Capital. It tells about two people who are in love traveling down the river in a boat. The song's writer compares this image with a seagull flying over the sea. When both are in the boat, they are happy regardless of the weather. I heard that there wasn't a word to denote love in the Japanese language before and relations between men and women were described in other words. Do you have such a word now? What is it? In modern Japanese language, we do have the word love. It is pronounced as oi. However, we used to describe the feelings in other words. More abstract the description, the better it was. Do you mind if I try? Yes, thank you. I put ibisori on my fingers so that they slide smoothly against the sow, the neck of the shamisen. Put hidzag on my leg so that the body of the instrument bound and cask and stays in place. Took bachi, the plectrum, used to play the shamisen and stroke a magic chord. Three, two, one. Now let's learn to play the start of one of our songs about Sakura. Strike the second chord. The first one? Two, two. Two. Very well. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Could it be that I lived in Japan and was a geisha or a geiko in my previous life? Geiko Andreiko. How else can I explain the fact that I have already known this song about Sakura? I've never heard any Japanese songs other than J-Rock and J-Pop ones. Holy mackerel. Uh, sa Sakura. 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 Did you enjoy it? Yes, yes, yes. It's quite easy. Once you just keep on practicing, and you'll master it. So, you just gotta keep practicing. Kinea Kasima is a teacher and comes from a family of teachers. Her mother, who also taught, died last year. His daughter, Ehiro, will be a teacher, too. She graduated from the music department of the University of Arts in Tokyo. Kineye plays in the Subiashi Folk Instruments Orchestra, which you can only find in the capitals in Kyoto and Osaka. A poodle named Pocha also participates in the educational process, biting the students. The sound of musical instruments calms it down. If you don't let the dog in, it starts barking and whining, so they have to allow it to remain in the class even at the price of being bitten. <laughs> <laughs>